How's it going guys? I am going to do a little product demo today on Fine Lab Ceramic Light. This is a consumer available coating that lasts about a year and is highly glossy and highly slick. Uh, I just did a gloss enhancement polish on this Mercedes GL. It's working a late night tonight. So, uh, and I'm going to apply a ceramic light on it for the owner. So what you're going to need is to prep the surface before you spray this on, fine lab panel prep. I've already run over most of the car with this, except for the hood and the fender, so I can show you guys. Uh, you should have five of my favorite 450 GSM towels from detailing.com, and you're gonna need a microfiber applicator block. I do not like those little blocks with the suede. Uh, I feel like those cause more harm than good. Some people use them, I don't. Um, so you're gonna have two towels or maybe more for wiping if you're wiping the entire car down with panel prep, and then you're gonna have three towels for your coating. So I am gonna start with the hood with the panel prep. Now what I'm doing with panel prep is I am getting all of the oils and crap or anything left behind from my polish so that the coating will adhere properly. And the reason I'm using these super soft towels is so that I don't scratch up the finish again, uh, which I spent a while polishing. This car didn't, is relatively new, didn't really have any swirls, definitely has some rids, which I discussed in my video on paint correction yesterday. Uh, random individual defects and scratches. Uh, you can chase these if you're going for a show car finish, uh, or you can just leave them alone. So, I left them alone because this is a daily driven car. I just lost my thread. Oh, there it is. And there's no point in doing a show car finish. It's also silver, and on silver, you really can't see swirls unless you're in a garage like I am right now with overhead lighting and then also my work light that I have over in the corner. So now the surface is prepped, uh, so a little bit more about ceramic light. Again, this is available on finelab.com even to the consumer. This is a great thing to apply to your vehicle after a polish or even after just washing and playing your car if you didn't want to polish the vehicle. This is probably one of the slickest and glossiest coatings out there. It is super hydrophobic uh, and basically if you're watching this video and you have no idea what a ceramic coating is, a ceramic coating is a more permanent form of protection or a wax replacement. So instead of having to wax your car every month or two and having the sun or outgas it when the panel heats up or washing it off a few washes later, this is going to crystallize within the pores of your clear coat and stay there for up to a year, unless you don't take care of it and it fails. So. This is a really great coating. Uh, it's really awesome that Fine Lab has this available to the public and not just us professionals. I've been using this coating for a couple years now as a top coat uh, when it's not the rainy season and I can just use this. This I feel adds more gloss than using the other product that the professionals use, which is actually called top coat. Uh, so this is a great product and we are going to do a little demo on how to use it and then you'll kind of be able to see Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference afterwards. So this is a fresh bottle and we're going to take this microfiber applicator block and we're going to prime it. So bottle upside down, up against the pad, just as so. So it's got a nice amount of product on there. Always put the top back on your ceramic coating so that it's not airing out or getting stuck inside. Uh, when you are applying a coating, if you're new to this, please go in sections so you don't get ahead of yourself. If a coating flashes onto the paint, it can be very difficult to remove. You may have to polish it off. Fine Lab is really forgiving though. Uh, this will probably, even if it's dried up, you can remove it two weeks later when you do a car wash. Um, so when you do a ceramic coating, the right way to apply it is to do these cross hatches, as they say, which helps to thread things out. So I just did a little cross down the middle of this section, and now I'm just gonna go over it again. Um, once you get more experience at this, you can do bigger sections like I'm gonna do right now. 
Now, if you actually read the instructions on this stuff, uh, it says you can leave this for up to 45 minutes before you wash it off. That's freaking insane, because most of the time a coating will flash in a matter of minutes. Uh, this obviously is also dependent on the weather and humidity. If it's hot as shit out, you're not going to get very far. Uh, it's probably going to flash really quickly. Uh, the longer you let it sit, the better the bond it forms with the paint. So the better the bond, uh, the better longevity you're going to get, and the less hard it will be, or less difficult, less easy it will be to fail. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to let this sit for just a minute here, because uh, I've let this sit for 45 minutes before, and I don't like doing that just because it becomes pretty hard to buff off. Uh, and I have to use Hulk strength in order to get it off sometimes. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute, which I know works great because I have it on my own car and even after like a year of basically neglecting my car, it still works. So what can you apply time-lapse ceramic light to? Just about everything. Same with the detailer spray. Uh, you can put this on headlights, you can put this on paint, you can put this on plastic trim, you can put it on your windshield, your wheels, uh, Pretty much any surface on the car. We definitely wouldn't put it on your tires because that probably wouldn't work um, or on the inside of your car unless you're doing plastic trim or gloss trim inside the vehicle. So uh, now that I have let this sit for a minute, I'm going to start to wipe it off. This stuff is like applying wax. It is so easy to buff off. Uh, even a monkey could do it. And the reason, again, that I'm using these super soft and also brand new towels is so that I don't scratch up the finish. Uh, one thing that can happen with Time Lab Ceramic Light is it can get very smeary sometimes. So you're going to want to uh, make sure you go over it. That's why I have three towels. So this first towel, just to get the majority of the product off, uh, then I'm going to take towel number two, and I'm going to do a secondary wipe now. So this is going to help to remove more excess product. Uh, you're probably wondering why I don't just fold the towel, uh, and that is because I want to make sure I have one towel for each part of the wiping. So you can already hopefully see that this surface now looks a lot glossier. And you'll be able to feel how freaking slick it is as you're wiping it off. So when Fine Lab gets smeary, uh, and I've had this happen before, uh, even like stuff that I missed or my employees missed, uh, I would the customer would come back, they'd say there's a high spot or something on their car, and I'm like, oh no, I have to polish your panel and start over again, just like I used to do with Granite Pro. But instead, I had washed the car to get it ready. Because usually it would be at their two-week checkup after we coated the car, and uh, then it would just wash right off. So it's uh, crazy. Fine Lab products are very forgiving, so don't be afraid to let it sit for a while, and don't be afraid if you have product smearing. Uh, it might actually level out on its own in the sun and disappear, like some coatings do. They will self-level, uh, or you can wash it off later, and it's not going to wash off the actual coating. You can do probably one and a half cars per bottle uh, and probably one full-size SUV like this Mercedes GL450. So if you just have your car, you know, you'll be able to do the whole car plus the lights, the plastic trim, whatever else you'd like to do. So I probably already buffed it off, but I just wanted to make sure that I got everything. Again, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do that cross hatch. Because I primed my pad, there's still a good amount of product on here. I don't need to apply any more light yet. And after you've applied ceramic light, uh, ceramic light does have a cure time. It, uh, I always tell people when we coat your car in this stuff or any of our coatings to wait at least two weeks before you get it wet. 
and start washing it. That way the coating has time to harden. So you can stick it outside in the sun uh, to help kind of speed up that process. It is more of a chemical reaction though, so sunlight doesn't necessarily do it, uh, but it can also help to bring out gloss, basically like IR curing for car. Uh, if you have IR cure lamps like we did at my shop, uh, we'd be able to, we would use them on afterwards just to kind of bake it, which would increase hardness and also longevity and gloss in some cases. Uh, I totally forgot to use my third towel as a third wipe, but I've got my, my work light on the car right now so I can see uh, there's no smear. But I do recommend having at least three towels, one for the first wipe, one for the second wipe, and then one for the third just to ensure that you get all of the product off. Because again, uh, on most coatings, if they flash, you won't be able to get them off. This one, I've experienced it coming off a couple weeks later, but there's no guarantee, so don't hold me to that. If you find that while you're doing this, your towel's just kind of pushing product around, if you have it under a light and you're doing another color, you should probably grab a new towel because it means that your towel has too much product on it. Uh, if you're using a towel that isn't new, but you've only used it for coating, and you're having that pushing product around problem, uh, it's probably time to downgrade that towel another level to you know, compound and or wash or interior because it is no longer good for coating. And this one's starting to look good. So I'm gonna do this fender now. As you can see, uh, because I primed it, I was able to do the whole hood and there's still on product on the fender, or enough product to do the fender. So uh, it is much easier to remove this stuff if you have more power, if you have more product. Less product tends to dry up quicker and can make buffing things off a little bit harder. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit longer than I did on the hood. I'm gonna do the headlights right now. use up any less excess product before I move on and then put more on the pack. When you do go to reapply product on your pad, since you primed it and it's still kind of wet, you can kind of just do like a cross hatch of your own on your applicator. So I'm going to use this now on the front bumper. Now I just told you all not to get ahead of yourselves. Uh, however, I've been doing this so long and doing it so many times, I know how this product is going to react. So I'm fairly confident in my ability to get it off. I'm also going to coat this, uh, matte trim in the front it's not going to make any gloss here and also the chrome as well you can use this stuff on chrome to really give it a boost uh, and shininess i don't know how long it lasts on chrome or surfaces like that uh, but it always makes stuff look way better are coating different surfaces such as plastics or wheels or anything uh, please use a separate applicator or wait until the end because if you it's more common on plastic trim that you're going to have some sort of contaminants or dirt come up with it because you might have brushed against something that has dirt on it and you don't want to use that same pad on the paint so i always do my whole car including the lights and then I'll go around afterwards and use that pad on the rest of it. Now, even though I waited longer before wiping this fender, everything appears to have gone pretty well. The product came off. I don't see any smearing under my light. So I'm gonna start wiping the headlight and the bumper. Oh, 
real slick now. Oh man, I just said hella. I've been saying hella since before I moved to California because of some kid I used to know uh, <laughs> who was from Washington. He started saying that and then I started saying it. They say hella more than they say wicked and I named my business wicked and I'm used to it. I hate when I catch myself saying it. Again, be very thorough in wiping because if you're doing this for a customer's car, you don't want to hand it back to them with a giant visible high spot, especially on darker colors, cars, black, blue, red, uh, anything that isn't metallic. Metallic flakes tend to hide a lot of stuff. Just to be sure. And also, it's recommended you wear gloves when you do this. Uh, I'm not right now because I like to dangerously. So, uh, it's not good to get ceramic coatings uh, on your skin or even really inhale them uh, or get them in your eyes for that matter. You'll see people wearing a mask when they apply coating that only covers their face or their mouth. Uh, that actually isn't doing jack shit. Uh, it is shown that ceramic coating chemicals actually enter through your eyes. So it is recommended that you get a full face mask if you're gonna do this regularly. Uh, I need to buy a new one because mine was old and shitty. So I'm currently not wearing one. Ceramic light is not the most toxic thing in the world. Definitely don't suggest eating it uh, or sniffing it and trying to get high off of it. Uh, so you should definitely get a mask if you plan to do this um, and definitely wear gloves because you don't want to get that shit in your hands. You're gonna go home tonight and the hands are all hydrophobic and slick. I just drop the towel on the ground. If you do that, throw it in the laundry bag. All right, so got most of the front of this car coated. So now, even though I said don't get it wet for two weeks, I really just meant don't wash it, don't park it next to the sprinkler. But I want to show you the hydrophobic effect of Fine Lab Ceramic Light because it is friggin' amazing. So I'm gonna grab the camera, bring you guys closer. This is just water, or just distilled water that I've got in here. So, just rolls right off. I am gonna... I didn't know that I could do this with this camera stand. It has longer legs than I thought it did. So I am gonna set this up. I'm gonna show you guys how easily you can just blow ceramic coating off a car just using water, or I mean, just using a blower. Uh, you might not even need a towel sometimes when you go to dry your car after washing it. This camera stand is way cooler than I thought it was. <clears throat> This is my Air Blaster Sidekick, another product from detailing.com. Uh, I have this vacuum attachment that I got from Home Depot on here because it makes reaching things a lot easier. Uh, normally it comes with a much shorter snout, but I got creative and also this attachment bends so you can angle it under doors and stuff. Uh, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> see all dry and no smearing or 
anything. So Fine Lab Ceramic Light is super slick and super glossy, makes cleaning your car way easier. Uh, if you're wondering what the point of a ceramic coating is, uh, is to make life much easier. Uh, if you were to blow this off uh, and it had no coating and no protection on it, the water would not run off quite so easily. Sorry, I'm adjusting things right now. I'm trying to put the legs back to normal height. No, I still didn't get it all the way. Thank you guys for being so patient with my shenanigans as I learn how to use camera equipment. Because I am crazy and new to all of this. So that was just kind of an idea of what ceramic coating can do. This paint looks extremely glossy after having polished it. I did my polish with the uh, Shine Supply Classic Polish and on a six inch uh, foam cutting pad, uh, yellow cutting pad, I think with Blake Country, I can't remember. But this is the stuff to buy if you are considering buying a ceramic coating to do it yourself at home. This is so much easier than anything out there. Uh, Fine Lab is super innovative in all their technology. I highly enjoy using all of their products. Um, and I would definitely recommend getting yourself some of this. Again, it lasts a year. It's super glossy, super hydrophobic. Wait about two weeks before you wash your car afterwards. Uh, avoid sprinklers after you coat your car. For whatever reason, most ceramic coatings out there react horribly with hard water. Uh, do not believe anyone who says that it is resistant to hard water because it's not. This coating is also slightly scratch resistant too. When you go to do a hand wash using towels like these, uh, you're gonna have way less chance of mooring the paint. Uh, especially because when you pressure wash the car, almost all that water, or almost all the dirt is gonna come off. You could probably get about 80% of the dirt off just by pressure washing. And then you can go through with a foam cannon and a towel like this, or a wet towel like this to do the wash and then rinse it off, blow it off with a blower, and then uh, your drying towel. I miss using a pressure washer. I got to use one today because uh, this guy has a has one, so he let me use his to, to prep the car, and it was kind of a tease because <laughs> I have to do waterless wash most of the time these days. Although hopefully I'll be getting a new pressure washer and water tank in the near future. I'm picking up a pretty nice truck uh, later this week to use for work. Uh, so this has been my demo on Fine Lab Ceramic Light. Go on finelab.com if you want to order it. I make no money off of it. I'm just promoting the brand that I love. Um, and if you have any questions, you can email me at sam at wickedautodetailing.com or go on my website, www.wickedautoprotection.com. If you're local or you want to learn more about us, uh, I will be happy to help out anyone who needs it. That is the whole point of this YouTube channel. So I'm going to coat the rest of this car so, and then I'll do a little walk around uh, once it's done. All right, here she is, ready to go. So we've got Fine Lab Ceramic Light on here. This thing is ultra glossy and looking really fine. It's pretty much done except for the piano black trim on this side because I'm going to make a little video real quick on cleaning up that stuff but thank you for watching our demo on fine lab ceramic light i hope you enjoyed it you should definitely buy the product on finelab.com we will see you next time